this hasn't been done on, on my hands alone and on my feet alone. And it's, it's because so many people have believed in what's going on here, and not only believe in what's going on here, but in the subject itself. And, that, and that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to bring this message, this very important message, to every Canadian from coast to coast. Because we know that if, it, if, if it's delivered and, and presented and promoted in the right way that Canadians will respond to this. And there's presently 4,000 people on the waiting list. And there's too many people that are passing away that are on that waiting list. And, and our country can do better. So right now, I think the main reason is that our country has not looked at this area and subject as an important enough subject to do whatever is necessary to address it. And, and, and that's what the, the heart of this campaign is all about. We're trying to get the attention of not only the public, but all three levels of government. And so that all three levels of government can make this a priority on each of their respective agendas. And, and try to let them know that probably the most important thing that we as human beings can do is probably make this decision to save up to eight people's lives. You know, now that is a very powerful thing to think about. You know, during our lifetime, we can make the decision to save eight people's lives. I don't think this has been presented to Canadians properly yet, or on a massive scale. So we're hoping that this is going to spark that off, this whole campaign. So with the uh, visit that, that we have with the, His Holiness, we're hoping that's going to further that, that cause and heighten the awareness. And it might be the first of a number of visits with other international high profile uh, people. And uh, maybe we, we can get more celebrities involved. Uh, we would like to take the same steps that the AIDS campaign took to get global recognition for their campaign. I think we can do that the same in this area. Uh, and also maybe put together an international uh, press conference where we'll be inviting all the religious leaders to attend and have uh, every religious leader state their support for each respective uh, agenda or for each uh, respective religion. Now, wouldn't that be awesome? Wouldn't that send a very positive impact throughout the whole world? And that's not going to be an easy thing to do, you know, but that's why we call this step by step. Because, you know, each step that you take, you can accomplish things, you know. So from that first step that we took from Toronto, and it just seemed like a tremendous amount of things that were ahead of me, we've been doing this step by step. My focus has always been, how am I going to get to that next community? You know, no matter what else was going on, because uh, there's, we've gotten into highs and lows, and uh, there's just so many things that can go on in a campaign when you're getting recognition getting recognition, and then where always my focus stayed was, okay, I set out to, to accomplish uh, 769 days of walking, and I was going to visit over 600 cities and towns, so how am I going to get to that next community, and that's all I thought about, you know, and, and uh, as, a, as a result of doing all this, uh, we've been making a few waves, positive waves and, and we're happy about that because the winners are going to be the people on the waiting list because that's what it's all about you know it, it's trying to give that person on the waiting list a better chance to survive and more hope you know um, they're living very desperately right now you know anyone that is a family member Joe can attest to this uh, it, it's a desperate situation you know and, and uh, we won't want to remove desperacy and, and add in optimism and hope, you know, and, and that, that's what we're trying to do. So someone asked me uh, that we, we might be gaining the same momentum as Terry Fox was gaining at one point of his walk. Well, if we can achieve half of what Terry Fox achieved, there's going to be a lot of life saved. That's the bottom line, you know, so we're striving for that, you know. Um, and then uh, Paul will make the proper presentations at the end. Uh, I want to thank uh, uh, Casey uh, before it in particular for uh, donating the visuals here. Uh, I'm using them now, but uh, I have sort of a 
whole bunch of uh, different, throughout the whole campaign, different articles and everything. Uh, for almost every community thing. It's gone up to Victoria, so if anybody wants to look at it, just want to thank him. So with that, I want to thank everybody else for coming up here, or coming here, especially uh, you, uh, Joe, for once again, uh, uh, gracing us with your presence. And, uh, George, what's your reaction to the an overnight thing. It, it took a, a, a lot of hard work and it took a plan and um, you know it, it began when I took that first step last year. Um, I was stating that uh, part of our mission was hoping to meet the uh, Pope and I met with many bishops and archbishops along the way and I was visiting Catholic schools and uh, when we got the news a few weeks ago uh, my reaction was of course I was excited because we knew what this meant, not only to this campaign, but to the whole issue of organ and tissue donations. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited, but I still haven't been able to feel, you know, like, I, you know, people, do you know who you're visiting next week? And it's still, I, I still can't feel it. I, I, I guess I'll feel, it'll hit me just all at once, and I'll go, oh, oh, I'm just, you know. Um, what are you going to say to him? Your Holiness, uh, thank you for uh, inviting me to have this audience with you. Uh, there's two issues I really want to try and get across to him. Uh, I want to see if he can proclaim his support for organ and tissue donations as he did last year, and, and you know, do it again to re-emphasize the Vatican's support on this. And also, if uh, he can help in setting up an international press conference with all the uh, other religious leaders. And th that'll be pretty well the two missions that I'll have in mind. When I do. It's the highlight of your uh, block. Well, thought that out, yes. It has been, there's been a lot of other things that have been pretty close because uh, a couple of weeks ago, oh, 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 I'm just, you know. Um, what are you going to say to him when you first meet him? Your Holiness, uh, Thank you for uh, inviting me to have this audience with you. Uh, there's two issues I really want to try and get across to him. Uh, I want to see if he can proclaim his support for organ and tissue donations as he did last year, and, and you know, do it again to re-emphasize the Vatican's support on this. And also, if uh, he can help in setting up an international press conference with all the uh, other religious leaders. That'll be pretty well the two missions that I'll have in mind when I do. Is this the highlight of your uh, block? Without doubt, yes. It has been. There's been a lot of other things that have been pretty close because uh, a couple of weeks ago I got the news from uh, an Abbotsford, BC family that their 18 uh, year old boy just received a uh, liver and kidney transplant. And, you know, that, that, that was awesome news for it, like that. that so uh, then we've had other situations like that too. Can I have you hold in the flames, please, George? Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, this is the uh, torch of life. It's been actually carried by hundreds of thousands of Canadians uh, thus far. Uh, oh yeah, the third thing I have in mind with the Pope is we're hoping that he'll be able to receive this so we can get his fingerprints on it. Uh, and then, uh, I'm sure that I have a bit of an impact when I bring it back uh, and having people wanting to continue to carry it. We have a goal of getting over a million Canadians to carry this torch. Wish you a continued success in your future endeavors. 
and for considering Alitalia as a sponsor. Sincerely, Alitalia, uh, Paolo Guasapolo, General Manager for Canada. Finally, um, we're very proud to be a sponsor of uh, Step by Step, and we, we congratulate you.